Hey, Juwan. Um, I just want to go back to some of the stuff you said after the Rutgers game. You talked about some of the success you've had running your system just a few years ago. And I just want to ask you to elaborate a little more on what you consider your system and where you've seen kind of that go wrong a little bit this year. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, John, but, you know, whatever happened and whatever was said at the Rutgers game, you know, we moved past that now. You know, we're moving forward to, you know, Wisconsin, and that's what's been our focus point is, you know, getting better, getting prepared for Wisconsin. So if you have any questions regarding Wisconsin, you know, please ask. Yeah. Hey, hey, John. Uh, um, starting with Wisconsin, the next uh, the next six games are, are all quad one games. Uh, so I guess have you, have you what what do you look at as as far as sort of that that tough task and maybe playing spoiler and sort of that help, helping motivate when some of the initial preseason goals may be out, out of the out of reach. No, we, we're we're looking forward to playing. Very, I guess one of the best teams in our conference. Um, Wisconsin has always had success over the years. Uh, this year, they're playing extremely well. good basketball. Um, you know, they're fortunate enough to have you know, a lot of their returning starters back from last season. Um, some of them have been with the program for you know three years, four years, and that helps. That helps with the continuity. That helps with you know guys uh, understanding and knowing the system. And Greg Gard, you know, being a great coach he is, uh, you know, he's been able to. Uh, you know, have his guys get off to a good start and play some good basketball because the way how they defend and also offensively on some of the good stuff that they run as far as putting defenses in the tough situations. Um, so, you know, coming in a home game, you know, your main goal is to come out and you know, do whatever you can to make sure that you give your home crowd, you know, something to cheer for it. And, and at the end, you, know, you be the last team, you know, standing with a, a victory. And so that's, that's our mindset going into this ball game. Next question, Juwan, uh, Wisconsin, very you know veteran team, um, but I guess so. Are, so are you guys to a certain extent with you know some guys have been in college five years, you know four years, four years, six years, whatever. Uh, I guess does that does that add to the frustration or um, you know your confusion about why you know you guys haven't been as good as you thought you could be, that, given that you do have a veteran team? Well, I mean, like I said earlier, I mean you have a. a team like Wisconsin and also Michigan State, you know, when you have, you know, a group of guys who have been, you know, through your program for more than, you know, one year for Wisconsin, for example, they have some that have been through their program for four years, three years, um, and, you know, you have a starting lineup that, you know, one, two, three, four, four of the guys have been playing with each other, you know, for, for two, three years. Uh, and that's 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 helps a lot, you know, because um, you get, you know each other, uh, you know the, uh, your roles, uh, you have bought into your roles, offensively, you know, as far as the style of play, uh, you're very familiar with it. From a defensive standpoint, you have a good comfort level of you know how the defensive schemes are, um, and also you have a comfort level of your opponents, you know, within your conference. You know, as far as how you prepare for your opponents, and that helps a lot in college basketball. And you know, you look at some of the teams that have had success um, early on, uh, and then also may you know have you know the stability of continuing to have consistent successes because of the teams that are fortunate enough to have guys that stick around and been with the program for some time. So, uh, with with us, yes, you said you know we have some veteran guys, but you know you. You have guys that only been with our program for, you know, months, and you know it takes time to, to pick up, you know, a lot as as far as what the roles, style of play on the both ends of the floor, whether it's offensively or defensively, uh, a different role that you have been playing at your other school, and maybe a bigger role now here with Michigan that you may have had a lesser role with your other, with your other school. So, um, you know, that's a lot to you know take on. Uh, but I admire how our guys have been accepting to it. Okay, thanks. I guess how do you get how do you get the program to that spot then? When if the guys are good at well, college you know, basketball, playing well, they go to the NBA, hard. right? <laughs> and you know, like we had what, two guys move on to the NBA, and fortunate right. enough for them, they were you know first round lottery picks. Uh, you have you know another guy who's moved on 
and transferred to Kansas for whatever personal reasons that is. Um, you know, but he was also one of our, you know, top scores for, for several years in our program. And then now you have to build a new team. And, you know, in college basketball, it's, it's different from, you know, football where, you know, fortunate enough, you, those guys end up staying for three years. Um, and then, you know, yeah, you may have to deal with the portal depending on the strength of numbers. Uh, in basketball, it's almost like it's free agency every year. And you see that a lot with a lot of programs where there's a lot of new faces uh, each and every year where you have to keep rebuilding team. And it takes time for for you to have a team where, you know, teams hit the ground running right off, you know. And But, you know, we're not going to let up. We just have to evolve with time. And we will continue to keep uh, grinding and uh, building our team with guys that really enjoy being a part of the Michigan Pro basketball program. Thank you. Juwan, you mentioned after the Rutgers game that, that the buy-in you wanted it to <laughs> from both directions. Have you seen what you've wanted in practice these last couple of days, or will it take until a game like tomorrow to, to show that buy-in? Well, we have this day, you know, it hasn't just started, just, well, just begun. But yesterday we had a really good practice and uh, had a great film session. So uh, we we're banking on that we'll have another good day of you know, prep, which I you know, feel confident that we will. And uh, tomorrow, it's going to be a, you know a really good, tough matchup for us, and, and you know get a chance to see as far as what we worked on the last two days. Uh, the guys are going to be ready to go out and compete you know, from start to finish, because this is this is a really good team that we're facing, and we're all aware of that. Hey, Juwan, you mentioned earlier this season about the importance of staying positive when you when you guys are kind of in a rut. Uh, is that becoming more challenging for the players as these losses stack up, or do you feel like guys are still kind of keeping their spirits up? No, guys are still picking their spirits up and still staying positive through, you know, tough, you know, challenging times. You know, every guy on our team is extremely competitive, prideful, don't like, you know, how, you know, and didn't expect a season uh, as far as where our record is today. Uh, but understanding that there is a lot of season to be played and no one does not have that mindset of giving up or looking forward to the summer or, or off season or whatever, you know, we're taking it game by game. And with that, knowing that, you know, we have opponents to play uh, and we're going to, you know, play for pride as, as well as that, you know, what's seen on that front of that jersey as well as what's on the back of that jersey. Right. And I know as you guys kind of search for these, search for these solutions, I guess, how do you balance kind of sit, sticking to what you've been doing and kind of just keeping faith that things will turn in your favor versus kind of trying to shake things up, um, you know, try to find things that work? Well, I mean, we, we're always looking for, you know, ways of how we can improve. And that's why we have, you know, film sessions as well as practice. And uh, every, every day has been evaluated. Anybody have anything else? I have a quick question. Go ahead. Hi, Hi coach. Um, just looking at the Big Ten standings, um, is that ever important for the team? And um, how are you guys keeping that optimism? Uh, I'm sorry, what's the first part of your question? Talking about Big Ten standings, does that ever, is that ever like a big discussion within the team? Oh, we, we discuss everything. And we discuss, you know, um, what things that revolves the team goals as well as individual goals. Anybody have anything else? All right, Coach, have a wonderful practice. We'll see you tomorrow night at Chrysler. Thank you.